Hi, my name is Vince Farrell and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'd like to talk to you about another tool to help with your molded and casted parts. It is called the Undercut Analysis. SolidWorks has many mold tools to help you create and measure different aspects of a casted or molded part. As designers, SolidWorks gives us the ability to design pretty much anything we can imagine. However, we need to do due diligence and make sure the part can actually be made. Undercut analysis allows us to take a caster molded part and see if any faces are going to be trapped in the mold. If there are any trapped faces, we can add lifters and side cores to the mold or redesign the part so that the faces aren't trapped. By trap, this means that when the mold opens, the part will either stay with one half of the mold and not be ejected or prevent the whole mold from opening, which is needless to say, a pretty bad thing. Let's take a look at this collar for an RC engine that I'm designing. There are several features on this part that have draft on them, and I've also split this part into two solid bodies, right and left, so that we can see how it's actually going to split with uh, when we create the mold. I'll go to the configuration manager. I actually have an exploded view here, so you can see how the part separates. So first thing I want to do is look at my parting line or my neutral plane. So a very simple split here. I'm going to use one plane which is great, keeps it pretty simple and I have a very simple parting line. Let's collapse that uh, exploded view and I'm going to go into undercut analysis to actually measure the undercut. Undercut analysis is right here under our evaluate command manager. So if I click on it, you can see, of course, there's several tools here to analyze different aspects of the part. Right here in the middle, these are a lot of my mold tools. So you can see draft analysis, which I already made a separate video on. And we also have undercut analysis. If we turn that on, first box is going to ask us for is to select the body. Now, the reason this box is showing up is because I have two separate bodies here. If I only had one body, it wouldn't show up here. So let's just pick the right side of this part and then move on to with our selection. So next two boxes are either the direction of pull or the parting line. As I said earlier, the parting line is very simple in this part, so I'm just going to use the direction of pull and I'm going to select that as the right hand plane. Now the direction of pull is perpendicular to this plane. I can toggle it by hitting this button here to re reverse the direction. I can also turn on the adjustment triad. That will allow me to actually rotate that direction of pull if I don't want it perpendicular to the plane. I'm going to turn that back off. Just toggle those again so that it ends up uh, being perpendicular to that plane. And then I ha have my undercut faces. So we have uh, direction one, direction two, both undercut faces. We can hide these if we want to see. Not too concerned about these two regions here, but what I'm really looking for is this occluded undercut. So you can see this hole right here. And what that means if um, I ha have something that's occluded, that the uh, these faces are not visible from either pull directions, meaning, or in other words, that means that that part is going to be trapped there. So I would need to uh, design either a core in my mold or uh, lifters, or I need to change this feature here to make it so that it doesn't trap my part. If I want to keep the undercut analysis on, hit the green check. It stays on, we get a nice key down here so we can see what each of these faces mean and we can continue with the design. And at any time, I can always just hit undercut analysis right here to turn it off. In today's video, I went over using the undercut analysis to evaluate a molded or casted part and to see if changes are needed to either the mold or the part. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and if so, please give this video a like. Subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems channel to see more videos like this one, and as always, thanks so much for watching.